It lucked out. It hit off a Notre Dame defenseman and got a good bounce and went in. Sean, you know what the, where your legs felt as your game progressed on? You had that long shift on the power play for the penalty kill, and then you get the game winning goal. Yeah, that penalty kill was a was a battle. It was a, over two minutes, and you know, unfortunately, we couldn't get it done. Uh, you know, they scored right after, but um, my legs felt all right. You know, I mean, obviously that was a tiring shift, but it uh, it got better as the game went on. Dave, you got two goals, three assists now in the first two games. Can you just talk about what you've been able to do, especially offensively so far this year? Yeah, I think uh, <clears throat> I think a lot of it comes from the forwards. They're creating some offense up there, kind of giving me a little bit more space back there. So you got to give them a lot of the credit, and uh, you know, the puck's just been bouncing my way right now. For both of you, can you talk about the way Gil played tonight? Yeah, I thought Gil played really well. Uh, he obviously played good yesterday too with the assist and the winning goal, and then to come back today and play uh, play solid all around. He was good in the D zone. He obviously uh, put some numbers up on the score sheet, so it was a uh, great effort for him tonight. Yeah, for a freshman to come in and do what Gil did this weekend was uh, it's huge for us as a team for him to get a contribution from him. But um, yeah, you know he just did the little things right, and he was able to score and benefit. Dave, you're partnering with a freshman, Clint Benning. Obviously, he's offensive-minded, too. How does that change the way you play, and how have you guys interacted so far? Uh, we're both offensive, but I think we're offensive in different ways. He's more of a uh, – he's offensive at the blue line, but not so much in the rush. So I think that kind of uh, benefits me a little bit. Just like uh, when I played with Gry, but last year he kind of stayed back and kind of let me go up whenever I wanted. So um, we have a nice – we've been working well together so far, and uh, hopefully we can keep it up when we get back home. Have a great day, John. Uh, Dave, can you just talk about um, holding the trophy, winning the winning the championship after having a tough year last year? Yeah, definitely. I think uh, coming out here, our goal was just to improve. Um, you know, we had a win last week against Toronto, but we knew that we wanted to come out here and get better as a team, kind of uh, gel as a team a little bit more. And we had a tough ending to last season, so I think uh, coming out here and winning this tournament definitely was a big boost for us, and hopefully, we can carry that over back to Hockey East. And how do you, uh, as an assistant captain, how do you make sure that the younger guys that haven't been here before understand this is just the start? I think you just you got to keep on working every day. I think uh, you can't be self-satisfied. And I think when we get back, the coaches are going to really harp on that. Um, Coach Park is really good about that. And I mean, I think we got a good group of freshmen. And our leadership's good, so I don't think uh, we should worry about that. Uh, Dave, can you just talk about it? You were here two years ago when last time the team won the icebreaker. Can you talk about how this one compares? And because it's different? Uh, a lot of the same comparisons. I think uh, we kind of won it in the same fashion. Both were close games. And I think uh, the ice break is a really good time for uh, teams to get together and really gel as a team. Uh, we were on the road this year, so it was a lot different. Uh, you know, you got roommates, and you're getting to know the freshmen a little bit more. So I think uh, being on the road for the ice break is a little bit better. You kind of Everyone gets to know each other a little bit more, and um, you kind of just go from there and build off that. For either of you, can you just talk about the way Roll Hazard played, especially in the third? Uh, I thought he played really well. <clears throat> uh, he was a little bit down after he let that goal and that went off his stick, but uh, you know we just told him to stay in there. He kept us in the whole game, and he obviously made that big breakaway save at the end there. So I think uh, his confidence is up right now. I think when he made that breakaway save, it kind of gave the rest of the team a little bit of a boost. Sean, can you just talk about uh, that tough start with two quick penalties? After the second one, it seemed like you were pretty down with the, the physical uh, look of yourself. But what did you tell yourself? What did you do differently? Yeah, I was a little frustrated with the calls, but I mean, that's new rules, so you know, I got to play by them. And uh, you know, the team really helped me out, Dave and other defensemen and coach uh, Powers. You know, just pat my back uh, when I got back to the bench, say, brush it off and get back into the game. So I tried to do that best I could. Anything else? So is that how you, what you envisioned your first goal being like? Uh, no, definitely did not, but uh, I was happy it came sooner than later, and it was a good time to get it. Thanks, guys.